What's up trainers, it's Adrian here, and as you can see here, I was actually in the middle of opening something when my phone decided that it was out of space. You know what, I was recording a video right before this and I got so excited to record the next one just because I wanted to split it up into two and keep them shorter that I didn't realize that my phone was basically out of space. I was halfway through the video and you know what, it said, uh, sorry, not enough space and just completely shut down, didn't save anything and you know what, that just went to waste. Yeah, I was done opening this showing this off and I open up the Hatterene B box but you know what let's let's just make the best out of it and what I decided to do as I was waiting to transfer all those files is that I sleeved up all of my champions path that I pulled in the last pack and as you can see like I'm pretty pleased with our pulls like we did obviously get a couple duplicates but we're we're well on our way to getting the set of champions path you know, like I said, I'm not huge on getting a master set where I have to get reverses of everything, but you know what? I'm pretty pleased. Like we got decent pulls. We got obviously a couple duplicates of like Weedle, Beedrill, stuff like that. And obviously a lot of Absol, but we're well on our way to getting the champion's pad. So as you can see, I obviously open up this one, have two Hatterene Vs now, and let's just move on like we were going to in the previous video set this aside a little bit and I went ahead and opened this and what it was was a uh, fossil Lapras long crimp booster pack from Watsi era showed it off in the previous video which I should stop referring to because it doesn't exist anymore but um, it's a long crimp it feels pretty heavy and I'm glad to add this to my collection now we're only missing the aerodactyl here and um, there are some differences between the long crimp and the short crimp as you can see, like they're clearly different prints from, uh, in terms of the foil, at least. Uh, this one is slightly lighter; it's warmer colors, and this one is like grayer, almost like colder colors. But they do both look real to me. I'm pretty pleased with them, and I'm just trying to build up my collection. You know, I want to start off with the Watsi era, and like I mentioned in the previous in in the previous video, I think I'm going to start collecting. Champion's Path. I think I want to build that set just because it does seem obtainable uh, to me. I know a lot of people have said that they don't like Champion's Path just because of the fact that there's only two chase cards, but for me, that's actually something that I'm looking forward to because it just means that I can actually obtain these cards. If if there's 200 cards to get, it just means I have to spend more and more money on booster packs and, you know, just getting into the hobby, I want to keep my costs low, but my returns meaning my nice cards that I get high. And with that said, like there being only a couple of chase cards in Champion's Path, I'm looking forward to it because it brings me back to the old Watsi eras um, where, you know, at most there were 16 hollows that you can uh, look forward to. But of course, there's only like those chase cards of like Charizard in uh, the base set. And, you know, it kind of, again, it just seems obtainable to me. And with Shining Fates, being sold out everywhere i'm sure you guys have seen at least in canada there there seems to be none everywhere i've looked everywhere i could i've looked in every st store that i could find i checked online and i checked in person too and there's just nothing so at least for the time being i won't be opening up any shining face just because it it doesn't exist in canada as far as i can see so i was actually able to find the champions path uh, v boxes and i'm happy about that because you know like it with that, it seems like I'm already halfway into building that set. So, okay, uh, to recap, we have our Champion's Path from the last video. We have the Lapras Fossil Pack that we op uh, that we unboxed or opened up from our mailbag this time. And now let's just move on to the Champion's Path Hatterene V-Box. As you can see, now we have two of these Hatterene Jumbo cards. And again, not sure entirely what I should be doing with these other than putting them aside. Hopefully they <laughs> gain in, in value eventually because like, it doesn't seem like they reprint too many of these uh, these uh, jumbo cards. Okay, let's, again, let's just keep this one kind of brisk. Let's move this aside. Gardevoir for last. Then I think Milk Creamy, I forget what that one's called. I'll, we'll, we'll find out. And then we have our two Dreadnought. This one feels lighter. Let's go with the heavier one. Okay, butchered this opening of this pack again. That's our trend for Champion's Path. Put this aside, it's a white card. One, two, three, four. Let's hope for some first pack luck. Okay, so we have a Lightning Energy, one that we still don't have. So 
Again, we're building our set from Champion's Path. Pokemon Center Lady. Turfield Stadium. Hop. Sizzlepeed. Zigzagoon. Scraggy. Rockruff. Vulpix. Malamar. And a Galarian Obstagoon. Okay, nice. Let's put this into a sleeve. Put that over there. Thumbs up for the Obstagoon, guys. <laughs> the OG from uh, Galar, right? Let's go on to the next one. It is another Dreadnought. Again, butchering these packs. My bad, guys. Put this aside. Okay, let's go one, two, three. We have another Milo. And again, that's that's the benefit and the drawback of having a smaller set with only 73 cards in Champion's Path. There's fewer cards to get, but obviously it means that we're going to get more duplicates because they want you to buy as many of these packs as possible. The only thing I'm seeing with uh, the newer pack, or with Shining Fates, is that there's so many cards. Like, I'm, I don't know if I'm willing to get it. First of all, I can't even find it. So let's just keep going. Milo, Turfield Stadium, Victini, Nicket, Inke, Roly Coley, Sizzlepede, Purloin, a Galarian Zigzagoon for our Reverse Hollow, and a Lycan Rock Hollow. Put this into a sleeve. Keep on keeping on, guys. Oh. Wow, we're having so many issues today. I accidentally moved my camera. I accidentally ran out of storage. But let's make the best of it. So let's move on, like I said. So the Milk Creamy, I believe, is the name. Milk Cry, Milk Creamy. Ah, butchering these packs. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay, Dark Energy. Another Absol. I think we have the most of this card out of everything from this set. Great Ball. Pokemon Center Lady. Full Heal. Sizzlepede. Purloin. Ekans, nice, it's a new one. Potion. Roly Coley, reverse. And a Hatterene. Nice, so we have the Hatterene V, we have the Hatterene. Slowly building up our Champion's Path set, guys. Let's put this Roly Coley reverse. Now, obviously, I'll be keeping any reverses, uh, reverse hollows for my set. If I find them, then I'll keep them, but I'm not going to be looking out for them. Ah. Now yeah, let's just keep on going, guys. Like I said, I want to keep this one shorter because it is technically part two of the other video, and you know what? I already recorded half of it, so I'm not too concerned about recording um, it again. Okay, so it's a, it's a white card for every champion's path. So you know, what? at least for me, I enjoy that because that means we get a hollow with every set or with every pack. It's kind of like the Japanese ones. We have Energy, Victini, Hatterim, Malamar, Inke, Weedle, Oops. some spoilers there, uh, Lanoon, Glaring Lanoon, 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 okay, uh, Carvana, Swablu, a reverse Lycanroc, we had the Hollow just now. We have our first secret rare, Piers, Rainbow Rare. Look at that, guys. This is my first Rainbow Rare card. Obviously, I was hoping for a Charizard, but I cannot complain. This looks pretty nice. Now, again, I'm not too familiar with this character because I'm only about halfway through Sword and Shield. Slowly working away on that, but, you know, t uh, work and editing these videos takes up more time than you think. Look at that. I can't stop looking at it. It's pretty pretty happy with this one. Let's put it into a sleeve before I mess it up. Okay, let's take a look at this, guys. Centering looks pretty good. I can't say that uh, it's a little heavy on either side. Maybe a little bit heavy on the bottom and thinner on the top above this trainer, right? The word trainer right there, as you can see. 
but it looks nice. And the back, ooh, unfortunately there is a little bit of a nick on the top left corner right there. And then on the bottom right, there's a little bit of a nick of a whitening, but the rest looks pretty clean. I can't complain. The corners aren't super rounded. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. Like I know they, let's take a look at the swab, for example, like look at this corner. That looks more rounded than this one up here, as you can see, right? So I think the corners aren't perfect. My best guess is this is an eight maybe a nine just because of the corners but I'm happy with this guys my first rainbow rare card definitely gonna have to remember this one it looks good look at that okay so let's put this lichen rock reverse into a sleeve we'll throw this pierce into a top loader for now hopefully we get multiple so I can keep them in my binder but let's uh, recap. So we got our peers, Rainbow Rare. We've got Lycan Rock Reverse, Roly Coley Reverse, Malamar Reverse. We also have the Zigzagoon Reverse. And then we have the Hatterene Hollow, Lycan Rock Hollow, Obst Obstagoon Hollow, along with our Jungle Card. And then of course we got our Lapras Fossil Pack in the mail. Slowly building our collection, guys. I want to say thank you for watching uh please comment leave a like if you don't like the video please let me know why so i can make them better in the future and i'll catch you in the next one bye